In this video, I'll teach you step by step how to create the most beautiful and the perfect website in the easiest way possible. You don't need to have any technical or programming knowledge or experience to create this website. I'll show you the easiest way possible to create a website. Let me give you a glimpse. For example, if you want to change this thing, uh, now it says language, but instead of language, I want my name over here. So you can just select and type in your name over there. If you want to make it underline, you just select that the section. So click on this underline button. If you want to change the icon or the color, for example, let's change the color. Let's make it red. So as you can see, this is that is really easy. Now I can also change the icon or the font uh, for, for this one. For example, instead of this one, I can select something like this. Now, as you can see, the font is totally different. So it is that easy. Now, suppose here I want to change this image. I don't like this image. So I just hover this image, click on this gear icon, upload the image which I want. For example, let's select this one and click on upload an image. Now, as you can see, the changes have taken place. So it is that easy. Creating a website is this simple. So let me first show you guys how the, what is the website that we are going to create in this video. Let me give you a demo of the website which we are going to create and after that we can proceed further. So this is the website which we are going to create. It is both a one page website and a normal website. Basically a one page website is nothing but uh, you know nowadays it is very popular. You see many different companies are creating a one page website which means that they have all the sections in one single page. Let me show you that. For example, uh, if you see over here, this is our home page. This is the header. This is our menu. At the left hand side, we have the icon or the logo of the company. At the right hand side, we have our menu over here. If you notice, this is a transparent menu. There is no background color to the menu. But when I scroll down, as you can see, now there is a background color to the menu. So this is also very good because here we don't need a background color. And this really looks awesome. And if I hover this, you can see there is a sub menu. Now, let me show you what I mean by one uh, one page uh, website. For example, if I want to go to about us section, I just click on about us. And now, as you can see, I am dragged to this section. If I want to go to contact us section, which is the last section, I just click on contact us and I'll be redirected to this section. So this is what is a one page website wherein you have all the section in one single page. The user doesn't have to go to different pages for different sections. And a normal website is obviously having a contact us uh, about us page, services page and so on. So I'll show you both the ways in this video. So let's see uh, the, the home page first. So this is our home page. This is our header. This is the first section you can call it. So at the first section, we have a full width image. We have this beautiful title, subtitle and a call to action button. Okay, let me first exit this visual builder so that we can see everything more properly. Okay, so we have our call to action button over here and I have given it a very beautiful shadow if you could see. And this is really looking beautiful. We have given it a hover effect and everything. If you see the color is matching throughout the website. And this is how you have to create the website. The design and the color of the website, the font of the website has to be consistent throughout the website. Now let's see the second section. So this is our second section. I have made this website keeping in mind uh, a business. For example, if you have different business, you can change uh, different sections accordingly. For example, here we have our courses. You can make it our service services over here. So we have three different courses for this thing. This is basically a, a website for the company which teaches different languages. Okay, a classes kind of thing. Uh, so we, they teach different languages. So we have three courses over here, Hindi, English and French. Okay, then when you scroll down, we have this about us section, uh, title, subtitle, some text about the company and the uh, text uh, that is basically my name in different font and different color and at the right hand side we, we have this beautiful image then the next section is this one uh, here i have our coaches you can obviously have our members because it, it all depends upon your company i'll just show you the format the perfect format for any business website and you can make changes accordingly 
So here we have three different coaches or three different members. This is the manager, the CEO or web developer, whatever you want to make. You can change the icon, you can change the logo. If you see there is a background image and we have given a top layer to that image, a pink color layer to that image. So you can do that also. I'll show you how to do that. You can change the size style of the image. For example, here you see this is a circle image. This is not actually a circle image, but we have made it circle image and making that or doing that is very, very easy. You can change the color. You can change the font according to your need, according to your style. And this is another call to action section where we have some, you know, some uh, heading, uh, subtitle, some text and a simple call to action button. Then we have the testimonial section and here also if you see the testimonial section is also very beautiful and the background color is really different. You know, we don't uh, see these kind of background color, this kind of background section in, you know, any regular website. So this is also very good. I'll show you how to do this. You can create a combination of two different colors. For example, here I have blue and green and this is really looking awesome. You can change uh, colors accordingly, obviously. Then we have the blocks, the recent post. We have three different posts. You can change the style of the post, everything. It's all up to you. Then we have this newsletter section. I'll show you how to create this beautiful newsletter section. I'll show you how to integrate this newsletter with MailChimp so that you can increase, you can get more uh, subscribers and you can ex uh, expand your business. I'll show you how to do that. And at the bottom, we have this uh, beautiful section again. Uh, here we have the address, your phone number, your copyright message and some social links. And this is the bottom footer, which is created by me, Nayo Sheikh and some social icons. So basically the main idea here is to keep these two sections as constant throughout the website. For example, I want to make these two sections as, as the footer section. So all the pages, if you see on the website, will have this same section. So that is also very good because we don't have to create the same section again and again. Once we create it, we just save it and then we can use it anytime later on. Okay. So this is the home page. Now let's see how the services page looks like. Okay. So this is our, our services page. Same thing over here. We have a top um, section where it, there is a bag full width image in the background. We have a title, our services, subtitle. You can have some text over here. Then we have three different services over here. Each service has a image, title, subtitle and a call to action button. And this page is also very beautiful, very elegant. And as I said you earlier, we have these two sections constant throughout the website and we don't have to create it again and again. It's just a simple trick. You know, I'll show you how to do that. Now let's see the about us page. So this is the about us page. If you have noticed that this, the first section is uh, constant throughout the website. For example, in the first section, we have a full width image in the background title, subtitle. So it is constant throughout the website. And I am providing these images, which I have used in this uh, website for free. So if you want them for free, then stay tuned. I'll show you how you can get them for free. Then the next section is the who we are section. We have used very beautiful fonts throughout the website. I'll show you which font I've, I've used and you can also use that same font. Then we have some uh, very short description about our company at both sides. Then we have two different images, a counter. Here we have different counter. For example, you can have students, uh, you can have clients, uh, your projects and these kind of counter over here. Then again, we have the testimonial section over here. Now notice that this is the same testimonial section which we created on the home page. So you don't have to create it again. You just copy that from there and just paste it over here. I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy. And the same footer section. Now let's see the last page, the contact us page. Again, as I said to you, the top section is same with a beautiful background image, uh, title, subtitle. Then after that, we have divided the next section into two different columns. At the left hand side, we have this beautiful and simple contact us form. And at the right hand side, we have this map. You, if you want, you can have the map uh, as the full width map. I'll show you how to do that also. And after that, we have the same footer section. So basically, this was a very short demo of the website which we are going to create. I hope you guys like this demo website and if you guys uh, really liked it, if you want to make if you want to make this kind of website, then stay tuned.
Now before proceeding further make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. With that being said let's get started. To create any kind of website whether it be a business website, an e-commerce website, a social networking website, any kind of website, a membership website we need two basic things a domain name and a hosting account. A domain name is nothing but the URL of or the name of the website. For example, here it is dv.nayashik.com. So it is a domain name. You have to select this domain name. For example, google.com, youtube.com, facebook.com. These are all domain names. And the hosting is nothing but a server. It is actually a hard drive or a computer wherein all your website file are saved. For example, if you see this beautiful girl over here, so this image is saved somewhere in some computer which is running 24 seven. So whenever someone visits your domain name, that servers or that computer provides all the files and they can see the website anytime they visit. Okay, so you, it doesn't depend on your on your computer whether your computer is on or off that doesn't matter because all the files are saved somewhere. So we have to purchase that. So there is do two basic things a domain name and a hosting account. You have to choose that without choosing that you just cannot proceed further. And there are many different companies out there in the market which provide hosting and domain and you have to select which company, whatever company you're selecting, you have to choose it very wisely because you know, this is a long term decision. You know, you, you not, you, you know, it is very, there are very less chances that uh, you will change the name of your company or the name of your domain name in the future. Uh, for example, in my company, I have a business side business, which is Faham uh, Corporate Gifting Solutions. So my domain name is Faham.in. So you have to choose that very uh, carefully. If your business name is something, you know, make your website, uh, select your domain name according to your business name. Okay, let me show you how you do that. So open a new tab, just click on this button, open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash TMD. Okay, blogdo.com slash TMD and press enter. Okay, once you do so, you will see this page. We want to use the cloud hosting because that is faster. So I'll click on get into the cloud now because we want to uh, use the cloud hosting package. So these are the different plans which we have. As I said you earlier, there are many different companies that are offering both hosting and domain name. Domain name, you can select it from uh, anywhere you want, but I prefer selecting domain name from the same company uh, where you have selected the hosting because you know, there. if you select domain name from different company, hosting from different company, then you have to point your domain name to that hosting and that it, it is not difficult, but you know, why do that? You know, when you can select domain name from any company. So why do we select this company or why do you select any company? For example, why if you want, if you're selecting HostGator, then why you're selecting HostGator? If you're selecting Bluehost, then why are you selecting Bluehost? You have to justify that. So la now let's see whether selecting this company is worth it or not. Okay, so let's see what this company offers that others don't. So here we have three different options or three different plans. Let's get rid of this. We have starter cloud, business cloud and enterprise cloud. I am using the enterprise cloud and guys, I only suggest and recommend those products or those things which I personally use. So I am using TMD hosting and I'm using the enterprise cloud. So let me show you what are the different awesome features over here. So the first two features are six core CPU and six GB DDR4 RAM. So as I said you earlier just a moment ago that a hosting is nothing but a computer wherein all your files are saved. So when there is a computer then that computer has to be very strong. It has to be latest technology and so on. So the computer which these guys are using is very awesome. It has got six core CPUs. Six core CPUs is a really good computer. It's uh, you know that you know these are basic things you should know that. Then we, they also use 6 GB DDR4 RAM, which is also awesome because you don't get this kind of uh, configuration in most of the companies. Uh, in fact, not most of the companies here also, if you see the starter cloud, they are using two CPU cores, two GB RAM. So that is not that good. But here, this one is really awesome. Six core CPU, six GB DDR4 RAM. So this will 
uh, indirectly or directly increase the uh, speed of your website which is very important for SEO purposes then we it has unlimited bandwidth which means that you can transfer unlimited amount of data on your website you can download unlimited amount of data you can upload unlimited amount of data so that is awesome it also provides ssd space most of you guys should know about ssd space because if, if you are subscribed to my channel you should know about this if you don't know don't worry it is basic thing again if you have basic knowledge about computer you know the difference between ssd and hdd if you don't know no problem just go to google just type in ssd versus hdd web hosting and there are many different articles written on that so for example this uh, this is pr checker or whatever you can read those articles uh, i personally don't like reading so i'll just click on images there are many different images you can see any one of them and it all all of them has the same result for example let's select the first one now here we have three different criteria speed iops and latency and the first one says higher is better obviously higher the speed better it is so here the you can see this ssd space is much higher than hsd now iops is also higher is better and you can see the difference over here latency is lower is better and you can see the difference over here again the difference over here is uh, around 100 times okay so here we have 0 0.04 milliseconds and here we have 4 milliseconds so this is a there is a great difference uh, uh between ssd and hdd hosting so this is awesome this feature is really really awesome and not only that it has unlimited ssd space now this is another amazing thing as i said you earlier guys uh, there are a few companies out there in the market that do provide ssd space but they provide a very limited amount for example 20 gb or 30 gb frankly speaking that is enough uh, for creating a website 20 and 30 gb is a great amount of data you don't need uh, more than that but here we are getting unlimited ssd space so uh, to, you can host 100 of website over here and you you won't uh, you know fall any you, you, there won't be any uh, space problem or uh, anything or like like that then the next feature is unlimited website hosted now this is a very important feature because suppose you're creating this website today a business website or whatever uh, website you're creating now you're you're purchasing a domain name and a hosting account or a web host now tomorrow suppose you want to create an e-commerce website so again you will have to purchase a domain name and a hosting account but if you select this one it says it has unlimited website hosted so tomorrow you don't have to uh, again purchase this hosting account you can host that website also in the same hosting plan okay so this is really important i have i am i have hosted around 100 of website in single hosting okay so you also get a free domain for example nayashake.com is a free domain which i got when i signed up with this company you get premium support free cpanel beautiful web server wildcard ssl now this is another amazing feature for example if you see the demo website which i have created which i just showed you guys here you have this ssl certificate okay this secure socket over here now this is very very important you know today and this also looks cool uh, being very frank this look this really looks cool and this is really awesome so you get this ssl certificate wildcard ssl this certificate tells the user that your the website which you're browsing is safe and you if they ask you for some data for example if someone is filling uh, the contact us detail then they can easily fill in the uh, fill in the details they they don't have to feel uh, feel any problem about that uh, for example this ssl certificate is more more most importantly used uh, in e-commerce website or some website like that because in e-commerce website people are providing their credit card debit card details so those details have to be very secured okay so this thing ensures that those details are secured in this kind of website in a simple business website you don't actually need a ssl certificate but obviously getting this is a benefit and it is really good for it will secure your website and as i said you earlier it also looks good now you also get optimum cache memory instance of 256 MB. The performance is three times better as compared to these two plans. 
you also get 60 day money back guarantee so you can select any one of these uh, whichever you like i would suggest you to go either with business cloud or enterprise cloud don't go with starter cloud the main and the basic reason is that you can host only one website in the starter cloud so suppose tomorrow you wanna if you wanna create another website again you will have to purchase a web host so that is not a good idea you can go with business cloud or enter enterprise cloud whatever you like i'll go with enterprise cloud because that is the one which i'm using so i'll just click on this get started button now here you have to select the domain name which you want for your website for example i can select nayashik1.com you can select the uh, extension .com .in. you know for example you can select .in if you are from india you can select, uh, select .ca for canada uh, i would recommend you to go with .com that is more suitable for any kind of website if you are creating a website for an organization you can select .org so it's all up to you for most of the people uh, i would recommend you to stick with dot com this is the most common uh, thing used so i would recommend you to type in your domain name over here and select dot com extension from here then click on proceed now here you have three different sections the first section you have to fill in some contact information just some basic information like your first name last name email address phone number address state and all this basic information now second section is the payment information you have to select if you want to make payment through uh, credit card or debit card you can select this option select the card type visa mastercard uh, whatever card type you're using uh, enter the card number expiry date and the cvv number uh, which is there on the back side of your card and if, if you want to make payment through paypal you can also select paypal so and, and the next section is purchase information here you have to choose in the data center location so you just click on this drop down menu you'll get few options over here you have to select the one which says nearest to you for me singapore says nearest to you so i'll select singapore now here you have this period by default 12 month is selected I, I also recommend 12 months that is uh, that is very good if you select one month there are many problems with that you know it will cost you around nine eight, seven eight dollars more per month uh, as compared to 12 month okay so for 12 month you are getting it for 13 dollars per month but if you select one month you are getting it around uh, you're getting the same thing for nine twenty dollars per month which is not a good idea so you have to save some money just select 12 months from here now go to promo code you can also deselect this thing uh, uh, domain privacy basically it protects your contact information for example there is something called who is so uh, for example on there on who is if someone types in your domain name they can get all this information like first name your email address whatever you fill over here they'll get those information if they want if you want to make it private you can select that if you, you don't mind anyone seeing your email address and so you can just deselect this now this is a very important step the promo code because it will give you uh, some discount so what you have to do you have to type in year 7 over here n a w y a r and numeric 7 and click on apply once you do so this will give you a 7% discount so this says this promo code gives you 7% off this purchase and by the way 7% is the highest discount that you will get on cloud hosting uh, TMD doesn't offer more than 7% on cloud hosting once you are done with all the steps just tick mark over here and click on checkout once you click on that checkout button you will receive a mail from TMD hosting this is a very important mail because here we have some really important information like your name servers your server ip your ftp username and password and so on so make sure you save this uh, mail somewhere you save all the information these are really crucial and sensitive information if this information goes to some other person they can really do a lot of harm to your website so make sure you uh, save all this information if you have multiple uh, email addresses which i uh, think you should have you would have then you can forward this mail to those email addresses okay so just do anything which you want is secure for you now here what you have to do you have to click on this link which says control panel link open that link in a new tab 
Control panel link is nothing but uh, the domain name slash C panel. For example, my C panel link or the control panel link would be nayoshik.com slash C panel. Your C panel link or the control panel link would be your website.com slash C panel. Now here you have to put in the username and password. So just copy the username and password from here. Here you have this FTP or C panel username and password. Just copy that paste it over here and click on login now this is the c panel uh, you, you, if you have created any account with any web hosting you should be familiar with this this is a basic c panel most of the c panel look look alike okay now you have to go to the bottom uh, to this softaculous app installer and click on wordpress okay so we have successfully uh, create uh, selected a domain name now it's time to install WordPress on that domain name. So you just click on this install now button. And from here, the first one is choose protocol. You have to select HTTPS. Okay, so HTTPS will give you this awesome secure socket. So select HTTPS or HTTPS www. You basically you have to select the one which says HTTPS. Okay, there are two options. One is HTTP. Don't select that one. Oh, over here you have to select the domain name basically you'll have only one domain name over here if you're creating a website for the first time if you have multiple domain name then you can select the one where you want to install wordpress now in directory wp is already typed in over here just delete that we want this uh, tab to be empty we don't want anything over here okay now you can put in your site name and site description over here. You can also put these things later on. So it's not a big deal. You can leave this thing for now. If you if you have not yet selected the uh, website name or website description, you can just leave it for now. Now this is very important. Your username and password. By default, it is, it is admin and pass, pass for password. You have to change that if you don't change this there are very very high chances that your website will get hacked and you know they can do anything with your website so that is not a good thing i would recommend you to select a custom domain name and password you know you, your password would should look something like this you know it has uh, you know numbers letters uh, symbols this exclamation at the rate of all these things so I would recommend you to select something like that so that it is you know difficult for anyone to guess your password. Now here you have to select in the email address the admin email address which you want. This is also very important because you will get many uh, different mails regarding your website over here on this particular email address. So select a good email address over here. Now at the bottom you will see this install button click on install. Okay, so it took around 10 20 seconds to install WordPress on a website. Now you have two different links over here the your website link and the administrative URL, which is your dashboard link. So let's click on the second one. Okay, guys, so congratulations, we have successfully installed WordPress on our website. Now we get this information. You might not get this information WP super cash warning. Just click on log out from here. Now this is the uh, dashboard if you are if you have not seen WordPress dashboard if it is for the first time if you're seeing WordPress dashboard then this is basically the C panel the back side of your website wherein you can create pages post and everything if you want to see the front side of your website here at the left hand side at the top left you will see this home icon however that you will see this visit link open this visit link in a new tab and you will see your website over here if you're creating your website in 2017 you will see something like this if you're creating in 2018 19 20 then you might see some different page over here okay so we have successfully installed wordpress now it's time to make our website because this doesn't look good you know this is not looking good we want something amazing like this one okay so for that we, we need something called theme 
So to get a theme, just open a new tab, type in blogdo.com slash dv10. Okay, there are two links, blogdo.com slash dv and blogdo.com slash dv10. Make sure you, say you go to blogdo.com slash dv10 because on that link you can get 10% discount. Yeah, as you can see over here, you get 10% discount, which is really amazing. You don't uh, uh, always get 10% discount. So make sure you use this thing. Okay, you can select any one of these yearly access or lifetime access. You have access to all the plugins, all the themes. There are many different themes. For example, there is a theme called extra theme. I have made a video on that also. You have access to all the plugins, theme updates, premium support, unlimited website use. So yearly access, many people think that uh, only your website will be active uh, till one year. After one year, it will be deactivated. That is not the case, guys. Uh, it means that for one year, you'll get updates. For after one year, you won't get theme updates. So that is not a big deal. You know, once we, our main motto is to create a website. Once you create a website, you won't make uh, no re changes regularly. So you don't actually need that. If you want, if you are if you are freelancer or something, you can select lifetime access. Uh, I have lifetime access, but you can go with yearly access. That is also good. Uh, you know, there is no problem with that. So just select this one, click on sign up today and purchase this theme. Okay, so you just don't have to worry. Don't think that, you know, if you have not heard uh, about elegant theme before, don't worry. This is the best theme till today. Uh, if you, I don't know about future, but till today, this is the best theme uh, which you can get for WordPress because it has also a visual builder, a front end visual builder, which is rated the best visual builder by any you ask any wordpress guy and they will uh, tell you that db is the best wordpress builder so you don't have to worry about that um, you know if, if you don't have if you don't know about this company or if you don't know about this theme then just don't worry this is the best theme you can believe me just click on this yearly access or lifetime access whatever you want sign up and get the theme Okay, once you get the theme, it would look something like this. Uh, it will be a zip file. And uh, here we have this TV theme. Now we have to upload this file. So there are there it is very easy. Just don't worry about that. Come back to your dashboard. If you don't know what is the dashboard link, where is your dashboard? Don't worry. Just type in your domain name. For example, nayashik.com forward slash wp dash admin or wp hyphen admin. Okay, you can see in the video. Okay, so this is the link. You, you can uh, go to the, this link and you will be redirected to your dashboard. Now at the left hand side, you have few options over here. Now click on appearances. Here we'll see, we'll see and we'll change the theme. By default, three themes are already there. We don't want any one of this. So just select one by one and delete them. So let's select this one and click on this delete button. Now let's select this one, delete it. Now you cannot delete this one because this is the only theme available now. Now what you'll do, we'll click on this add new button, upload theme because we have a file. Now we have to upload that theme. So just click on this upload theme, choose file. Now choose this file, db.zip file, open, click on install now. So this file is getting installed. You can see the progress at the uh, bottom left corner if you see on the bottom left corner of the video you'll uh, you'll see the uh, uploading thing 14 15 percent and by the time it is getting uploaded uh, you can do few things guys you can click on that red subscribe button and you can also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos because uh, i make really useful and amazing videos uh, for example let's see this video only it is a very useful video for your business if you are the business owner, you can create a beautiful website for your business. I remember I paid around thousand dollars few years ago, not few years ago, around six, seven years ago when I wanted my first website and you're getting your website for just hundred, two hundred dollars over year. So you're saving a lot of money over year. Okay. And if you are a developer, if you're a freelancer, then that is also good for you because you you're learning how to create a website you can create this so beautiful website for your clients 
so make sure you subscribe to my channel i also i always give quality products and really amazing products okay so our theme is successfully installed now it's time to activate the theme so just click on that button this link which says activate okay fine so this is the theme you should see active dv over here we are using the latest version this is i guess 3.0.89 the version which i am using now if you go to your website and refresh you should see some changes over here okay as you can see the website is looking totally different but still it is not looking like this so now it's time to make our website something amazing like this okay so uh, let's start doing that so for that first we need to start making pages so how our pages at the left hand side you have these pages how our pages and click on add new first we'll create the home page so let's create uh, create a home page first let's type in the title over here as home page you can obviously type anything you can just type in home or home page anything like that okay and you don't have to do any changes over here uh, only just type in the title as home page and click on publish fine now click on this button which says use the db builder and click on use visual builder so this is basically the front end visual builder of which I was talking about. Now just click on this button which says start building. Okay guys, so this is how you should get uh, uh, now. This is how your website should look like. Now first we have this section. Okay, a very simple and beautiful section. Now if you see over here, we have an image in the background. So first let's do that. Let's add an image in the background. So here basically let me explain you one very uh, simple and the most important thing. This is basically divided for if you see this blue section, this is a section. So it is a section and under this section we have this another section. See although all of your information will be under this section. For example, if you see this is the section. Okay, here it is. This section is under this green section. Okay. You can see some gap at the left and right hand side. Here also you have some gap at the left and right hand side. And this is the blue section which is you know just this total section till this image ends over here. Okay so we have to add an image in the background. We have to add the image not in this section. Okay not if you, have, if you add only in this green section then the background image will be only for this much uh, space but we want in the complete space so that's why we'll add a background image in the blue section i hope that is clear if that is not clear don't worry you will see and you'll understand everything okay so how are you here and you will see this blue section and under this blue section you will see this gear icon the second one click on that the first option is background click on background and here we have different option like you have you can have background color for example let's click on background color let's select red now as you can see we have red background color okay so but we don't want that so we'll delete this one we want a, a image in the background so we'll select this third one and click on add button or this plus button now you go to media library but we don't have any file in the media library till now so i'll go to upload files select files and i have given all these images for free uh, if you see there is a link in the video description below you can click on that link and you can download all these images for free now this is the main slider image select this one click on open now click on upload an image now as you can see the image in the background but this is looking a little bit different don't worry let's see more changes over here the background image size should be cover background image position should be center and you know if you if you change this thing for example instead of cover if you put fit this is how it will look okay we don't want something like this we want cover so you can select cover background position center background repeat no repeat background repeat is basically when you have small very small images you know and you will see that same background same images repeated again and again so we don't want that we don't want the background image to repeat 
okay so everything is uh, fine over here okay design and everything this is fine you just don't have to do anything just have to upload this image and click on ok now it's time to add these things okay so let's start with the top one there is a divider if you see a very beautiful very small divider at the top this red one if you could see i don't know if you could see or not so let's add that one so first click on this plus button it will ask you how many columns do you want so we have single column over here so we want only one column so we'll select the first one now what do you want to add first so first we want to add a divider this is a divider so we'll type in divider over here and we'll select this one okay now let me drag this over here so that you can see all the changes over here now you have to select this show divider you have to make it yes once you make it yes you will see this white line over here so that is the divider we want to change that now okay for example go to background you don't have to do any changes in the background actually go to design on the design section color let's change the color to red okay so you can see the changes over here now style solid top that is fine now go to sizing divider width you know we if you want i think it uh, i have used four pixels if i'm not wrong okay in the website i guess i have used three pixels so just make it three pixels or if you want to make it uh, uh, more darker or more bigger you can increase or that if you want now with with we want to decrease the width for example if you see when i decrease it it is decreasing and let's make it five percent okay so five percent is looking good now rest you can if you if you want you can change the uh, adjustment or alignment for example if you want to make it center align you can do that if you want to make it left align you can also do that spacing box shadow everything this is these are all not needed over here when we'll need this i'll show you what those are okay click on okay now so we have our first thing our first divider over the over here which is looking awesome now the next thing is this beautiful text over here so let me copy this same text learn a language now again if you see over here okay we get this button this uh, add a new module button click on that button now we want to add text so obviously we'll text for uh, we'll search for text and we'll select this one which says text okay now here we have to type in the text whatever you want to type for example i am typing learn a language if you if you could see the uh, here we have our text now we have to make some changes like uh, the color the font and so on so go to design text okay the color the dark color or light color so here if you see it is white color so white color is basically the light color so select that and make it light now you can see the color has changed to white now text font i guess i have used roboto condensed font you have roboto condensed roboto mono roboto slab i have used roboto condensed for that font weight regular font size just increase the font size to anything you want i want it bigger okay so i am selecting 80 pixels and i also want to make it bold so i'll select font weight and i'll make it bold so this is looking much better and similar to this one now let's see more option okay so this is text color you can change the text color for example you can make it red uh, green yellow whatever you like but i don't want to make it anything i just want to make it white so i'll just select white from here now text spacing line height we don't need these things now we'll see them later on text shadow for example if you see over here there is a very thin shadow i am sure you cannot see that but uh, if when i if just uh, keep on seeing this thing and when i select something like this you will see the change let me select this one now you can see there is a beautiful shadow you know you can select this uh, different kind of shadows i am selecting this one you can also change the horizontal length and vertical length for example if you see over here we see that you know, shadow moving around over here and there okay so you can also change those settings you can change the you know, shadow color for example let me make it yellow 
now you can clearly see the yellow shadow over there but i don't want to make it yellow i want to make it black obviously you can also change the alignment for example center let me as you can see over here center right left so i want to make it left alignment because here everything is left aligned fine so you have heading text which is not needed over your sizing and everything now everything is fine we just needed these settings okay the text settings we we have done all the text settings now click on ok so we have two things over here now let's add this lorem ipsum text again how are your and you'll see this black thing which says add module or you can just copy this thing okay if you want to copy this thing just click on this copy button and it will be copied now let's you can now once you copy it we can make some changes or uh, if you don't don't want to do that you can just click on this plus button and again search for text and select this one okay and paste in the text or type in the text whatever you want so first let's click on ok and let's get rid of this one fine now let's make changes on this text so select this gear icon go to design again and go to text color light again fine now you can see the color over here font size let's increase the font size okay and uh, let's see what we have we have letter spacing or and line height let's increase the line height and let's make it uh, maybe 1.1 would be nice or maybe let us increase that again go to design text and where is that gone here it is line height let's make it uh, 1.2 let's see okay so 1.5 1.5 should be fine not pixels so if you I, when i put 1.5 it is giving me pixels i want 1.5 em so just type in em and now you can see the changes over here so 1.5 is not good i'll put in 1.3 okay so this is looking better 1.3 is looking better click on okay if you want to make it more changes if you want to make it shadow or something you can do that also which we have done for that one click on ok now here if you see there is very little gap between these two so let us add some gap again select the first one go to design text and let's increase the line height for that also so that we get some gap let us make that also 1.3 em okay now that is looking much better click on ok okay fine so we have done these two things oh, okay okay this was very smaller but ours is very bigger so we have to decrease the size of this font okay so let's change the size of the second second font click on uh, this gear icon go to font let's change the size this is very big 32 is very big let's make it uh, maybe i think 20 pixel is fine and also it is on divided on two different lines so let's add a line break so i think after after this one so you can do it from here also okay we have a line and i think there is a lot of line height let's decrease the line height again go to this section and let's decrease the line height to maybe 1 em is fine okay now click on save so we have this thing over here we have this divider we have this we have this now it's time to add this button now let's do that again how over here you'll see this one this uh, black plus button click on that black plus button to add a new module and search for button because obviously we are we are going to create a button now select this button button text so here it says join today so let's type in join today okay this button is looking very bad we want something amazing some really beautiful button like this one so let's do some of those changes go to design again and here you'll see this button click on button and make this yes use custom style for button 
okay button text size you can increase or decrease from here you can see the size of the button is also getting changed uh, i think uh, this is i guess 15 is fine 15 is looking better button text color here is white so let's make this white select button text color and select white color from here then button background color if you want to know the exact same background color there is a very simple trick you can go to my demo website and right click on this button click on inspect now here you'll see some color at the right hand side just copy this color it is ff3 f56 okay copy this from here and click on this plus button and over here paste in okay now you can see the exact same color and this is really looking awesome now bottom uh, button border width so we don't want any border if you see there is this white border we don't want that so just type in zero over here we don't want any border now this is looking much better and uh, button border radius now increase this because we want to make it circle so as you can see uh, when I put in 30 or 40 pixels it will become circle and this is looking much better now there is one more thing okay this is looking similar now but if you see when we hover this it becomes black the color of the button will becomes black and also there is a shadow to the button let's add those options now you can also change the button font color for font weight font size and uh, or so on from here and when we hover over this button we get this uh, icon you can change that icon for example if you want uh, this icon this pencil icon we can select this pencil icon now as you can see when i hover this i get that pencil icon so you can do that it's all up to you i can select this home icon or this tube light icon this bulb icon and when i hover this i get that bulb icon so it's all up to you then we have button icon color the icon color is by default white you can change the icon color also we don't want to do that button uh, uh, button icon placement it is at the right hand side you can make it left now when we have over this you can see the icon is at the left hand side okay so we don't want that we want it on the right hand side only show icon on hover yes because you don't want to if you select it no you can see the icon is all uh, automatically shown we don't want that we want that icon to be shown only when we hover this button okay now here is the hover effects button hover text color which will be white which is fine we don't have to change that button hover background color we have to change this one select this select black now as you can see when we hover this the button becomes black but it is really black and we want to uh, decrease this uh, the transparency of the black we, are, we want to make it lighter black so we'll select this second one and we'll drag this thing down and when we hover this you can see it is much lighter or if you you can select one thing you can select from here as you can see this is the lighter shade now this is much lighter now i can decrease this i can drag this thing down i can make it 100 percent okay maybe more okay i think this is looking better so this is how the button is looking fine now let's scroll down now everything is fine now we have to add the shadow so you have this box shadow over here click on box shadow and let's select this one or maybe this one okay so this is the one i think which i have selected uh let's change the position let's make it left and let's okay okay so this is looking better you can select the position of the uh, uh shadow according to you okay so this is really looking awesome click on ok now everything is looking fine we just need some space at top and bottom for example if you see this website and you see this website there's a great change so let's add space that is very easy also changing or adding space is also very easy just hover over here you'll see this blue uh, section and just drag this thing okay from bottom also just hover at the bottom and drag this thing okay so we have nice amount of gap and if you make sure you whenever you make some changes you save the changes so the doing that is also very easy click on this button and click on this save 
fine you can also press ctrl s to save the settings now let's see how this website is looking so open this website in a new tab okay you can see nothing has changed over here although we made so many different changes that is basically we because we have not set this page the page which we are creating now at the home page so here you'll see this home page icon just click on that okay so here it is our page this is looking really amazing exactly like this one okay so we'll see we'll make this thing as the home page later on first let's create the complete home page and after that we can do the changes which we want to do okay now let's create this next section let's see the next section now here again if you see at the top we have this divider so we have to add the divider first now there are many different ways of doing this you can just copy this divider from here and paste it over there so there is that is one way of doing it so if you could just click on over here you will see this third i think you cannot see that but the third icon is to add a library or add to library so we can give a template name for example we can may see say that it is the divider okay let's type in divider and click on save to library and i think we have to increase the width of this one okay this is looking very thin so first let's edit that and go to design okay sizing i guess yes sizing width it is i guess 4 pixels okay so it is 4 pixels is looking good click on save now we have to add another section so click on this blue button this blue plus button and here we have three no first we have to add this thing uh, this simple divider and this one so we want only single single columns for this thing so we'll select regular single column the first one okay now the first one is divider so i'll select okay no 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 wait we don't have to do this we don't have to select this divider and so on we have added this thing in the library so we can use that i think uh, i have just zoomed out so i think you guys might be facing some problem seeing this so let me zoom in so that you can see everything much properly now go to add from library because we have just added this into our library so we can use this and select divider now as you can see without creating anything we have our divider over here now we have to make it center align so click on this gear icon go to design uh sizing is 4 pixels and alignment should be center here it is module alignment select center click on okay this is looking much better after that we have this title our courses so for that again we'll hover here we'll get this uh black thing and we'll click on this black add button to add a new module okay Okay, let me do this click on this add button select text and just type in anything you want over here or just paste in anything like i'm not typing i'm just pasting our courses you can see our courses over here let's change that go to design text first we'll have to make it center align okay so alignment Okay, it's down i guess let's increase the size to maybe around 60 so text size 60 pixels and uh, font weight or text font i think for this there is a font called you want to i don't know how you pronounce it u b u n t u so i'm selecting that one that is really looking awesome you know this is really looking awesome so i'm selecting this one and the text color i think this is looking fine but if you want to change it you can change it if you want to make it black you can make this black as well and everything is looking fine if you want to make some shadow you can add some shadow also text alignment i want to make it center okay so this is looking much better everything is looking fine now click on okay let's delete this one this divider we don't need this one 
and after that we have three different columns so we'll have to add three different columns so for that we'll click on this green button green add plus button and we'll select the third one three different columns now the first one at the top we have an image so i'm searching for image and click on upload image upload files select files and i think uh, it is this one select this image click on open upload an image so we have our image over here fine and uh, i think we don't need to do any changes over here just click on ok and after that we have this text so again hover this click on this add button the black add button and click on text select text from here and here the text is hindi so just type in hindi over here go to design text okay color is dark but we'll have to make it light later on first we'll add the background color after that we'll make it white color now let it be black okay then font we want the same font which i just used ubuntu and i don't know i'm i'm, I'm sure i'm pronouncing it wrong so just don't make fun of me in the a uh, comment section below and let's increase the size of this text to maybe 45 is looking better so 45 is fine and make it center align okay click on okay now we have some more text over here so let's copy this come over here click on this add button again and search for text again select this one add this go to design text everything is fine i like this uh, default font and everything i just have to make it center align so i'll click on this text alignment center click on okay now if you see over here we have this beautiful uh, color in the background so let's add that so what i'll do i'll select uh, this one or wait wait a minute okay let's select this one row setting go to background column one background let's let's try how it happens select red okay yeah this is how we do it now i don't want red color this is really looking ugly i want the color which i have used over here something like pink i think it was f f5 f36 i guess no okay let's again do the same trick to know the color so right click over here and select inspect now here at the left hand side we'll see that color so it is ff3 f56 fine copy this come over here and paste the color over here okay now we have that beautiful color now click on ok let's add some space at the bottom and now let's change the color of the font so again how are this click on this gear icon go to design text text color light okay now how are the second one gear icon design text text color light this is looking really amazing click on okay now make sure you save the changes whenever you do any changes make sure you save it so you don't miss any changes now what we can do we instead of creating this again and again we can just copy this thing so we can just copy this drag this thing over here then we can copy this one drag it over here okay and same thing with this drag this thing over here okay we cannot see that because the uh, color is uh, we have not set a background color, color to this second column so let's do that also select this row settings background this is this was the column one background color select column two and let's see here we have this beautiful color let's see which color is this inspect so this is the color copy this paste it over here okay so this is looking much better 
now let's select this color inspect and this is this one copy this and let's see this okay column 3 background paste it over here fine now we here we want this text at the top and we don't want to make it Hindi it will be English whatever you can change that easily now now you know how to do that if you want to make if you want to change this image you just click on this gear icon upload image and just select the image what whichever you want for example if you want this one select this click on open upload an image and everything's done over here click on ok if you want to make it in instead of Hindi if you want to make it English okay you can just type in English over here if you want fine click on save changes now again just copy this image drag it over here copy this text drag it over here at the bottom same thing for this text fine so this is looking awesome and uh, as you can see it really takes very less time uh, using this db builder and you can create anything you want anything that you can imagine uh, in terms of website you can create it over here okay so this is really looking amazing we have also completed the second section this is really beautiful section fine now let's create the third section let's see this is the third section this is also very beautiful section so let's create this one again click on this blue plus button click on regular and here we have two different columns so as you can see over here at the left hand side we have this text and at the right hand side we have this image so let's select two columns from here here at the top we have this uh, divider so what we'll do we won't search for divider because we have uh, saved the divider in the library so we'll click on add from uh, library select divider and we have our divider over here we'll just have to make some changes okay so go to design let's change the size instead of three pixels let's make it four pixels and let's increase the width from here okay uh, maybe 13 12 13 percentage maybe 10 percentage is looking better click on ok and after that we have this simple text copy this text come over here click on this plus button search for text select this paste in the text or just type in the text you want go to design text dark color yes dark color font weight you will select the same one uh, not font weight text font we will select this one which we are using let's increase the size to maybe 45 pixels and you can select any color you want for example instead of this color let's make it a little bit darker so we'll drag this thing and I think uh, this is looking good so this is 383838 so we can copy this code so that we can you know use the same color throughout the website click on ok and here let's add this text now click copy this text again how here click on add new from here again search for text select this one paste in the text or type in the text which you want go to design text let's increase the size for this one let's make it to uh, maybe 22 pixels okay so 22 pixels is looking fine click on ok after that we have some more text this is basically uh, something about your company or uh, some testimonial from your client or something that would be good or some vision mission kind of thing over here so it's all up to you what you want to put over here and after that just click on add again again search for text select this text paste in the thing or just type in the thing I think we don't have to do any change to this this is already looking good so just click on ok and at the uh, at uh, last we have this Naya shake let's add that also click on add new again search for text fine and just type in my name with a dash two dash I guess Naya shake fine now go to design text and uh, I don't know what 
font is that? Let's let's see font. Uh, I think that is let me see what font is that enable visual builder on this page. Okay, scroll down and let's see. Just click on this gear icon to see what, what that thing is. Go to design text. This is Pacifico, I guess. Yeah, Pacifico. And the color is the same color which I have used throughout the website. Okay, so let's add the same font. Let's search for Pacifico. Just type in P. Here we have Pacifico. Okay, we have the same font. This is looking awesome. Let's increase the size. Okay, fine. Maybe to 35. I have put it 35. This is looking better. Text color. Just paste in this color. Okay, so this is really, really looking awesome. Everything is fine over here. Just click on OK. Now at the right hand side, we have to add the image. So we just click on add. Search for image. Select any image, any image you want. For example, just let's select this one. Click on upload an image. OK done okay so this section is also done so easily but there is one more thing left if you see the background color for this section is uh, light gray and the background color color for all the other section is just white the normal color so let's change the background color for this section because so you know that really divides this section and it gives a very good look to the website so let's add a background color over here Okay, how about this, this blue thing, click on this gear icon, background and click on this plus button and let's select some light gray color. Okay, so something like this. So this is E0, E0, E0. If you want the same color, you can have this. It is E0, E0, E0. Click on OK. Let's increase some, uh, let's increase some space at top and bottom. Okay doing that is really easy fine so we have successfully created the third section as well let's save all the settings just click on Control s on your keyboard go to this page let's refresh and see how our website is looking now okay so this is really looking amazing awesome really awesome okay so we are really doing good you guys are really doing good if you're following me now let's create this beautiful section the fourth section Again, come back to this home page. Click on this plus button, this plus blue plus button, regular and I guess, okay, fine. So first we'll have to add these two things, the divider and this title. And after that, we can add these things. So first we want only one column. So we'll select the first one, the single column and add from library divider. Here we have the divider. Let's do some changes over here. For example, here we have to change the color of the divider to white color because our background color will be red and we also have a background image in the image in the background. So I'll make the divider color as white. So I'll go to color, make it white or and obviously when I make it white, it will disappear because the background is also white. So let's select white and also let's see the alignment. What is that? Okay, let's see style I, okay not in style sizing again okay, under sizing it is under sizing select module alignment center click on ok now let's add a background to the and uh, let's add an image to the background so that we can see the changes so click on this gear icon this blue section gear icon background select the third one the first one is to add a color the third one is to add an image so select the third one, click on OK. And this is the image which we want. If you don't have this image, you can just upload that image. Click on upload an image. We have this image in the background. Now scroll down and you'll see this option background image blend. Select that one and select overlay from there. Okay, so this is the option overlay. Okay, fine. After that, select the first option. Click on add to add a color. Select any color you want, for example, red color or any color you want. I am selecting this color. Fine, this is really looking amazing and exactly like this one. Okay, so this is the one which you want. Click on OK. 
now we want to add this thing this uh, text or this title our coaches so how are you and click on add new to add a new module okay so just click on this where is that here this add new button add new module and search for text and just type in our coaches or whatever you want for example i am typing our coaches go to design text text color will be light obviously now you can see this over here our coaches and text font will be the same which we are using let's increase the size to 60 pixels because here also at the top we have 60 pixels so you have to select the same font size so that it looks better okay now let me make it center align okay so this is looking much better click on ok and let's get rid of this one the second uh, divider let's delete that now we have to add this section three different people over here so for that click on this as a button now this green plus button now select this thing three different columns fine now here at the top uh, i guess this is yeah this is uh at the top we have to add a image so first select image upload an image yeah, upload files select files and i guess this is the one so select this one okay or maybe this is the one select this one 300 by 300 uh, image this is click on open upload if an image okay so this is how it looks like go to design because we now now we have to do some changes over here go to design first is alignment let's make it center align okay sizing let's decrease the size of this image this is really big uh, okay maybe we want 50 percent is fine we'll see that if more changes is required we'll change the size later on spacing okay we don't need any spacing over here border okay we need to uh, make it as i said you earlier i'll show you how to make it uh, circle so select border and uh, select this border and you have this rounded corners so just put in 100 over there 100 pixels and as you can see this has become a circled image now so this is really amazing and rest everything is fine just click on ok so we have this image now let's add this text so how over this and click on add to add a new text and just search for text and type in any name you want so this is a girl so i'll type a girl name okay and go to design text okay the color will be obviously light okay now we can see this and uh, text font you can make it any font I'll, i'm selecting the same font and uh, let's increase the size of the font to maybe 35 let's see yeah 35 will be fine 35 pixels so i'm selecting 35 it's all up to you you can select any uh, size you want i'm selecting 35 let's make it center align okay the spelling is wrong fine click on ok now let's add this text this manager text so what i'll do i'll copy this same text i'll just add in manager over here instead of the name okay i'm sorry instead of this name i'll type in manager fine and now go to design let's decrease the size instead of 35 let's make it 25 or maybe 30 okay so 30 is looking much better let's change the color to f f5 f56 okay or maybe ff3 i guess i always forget this okay it is ff3 f56 now we cannot see that but when we add this white background color you can see everything so just don't worry click on ok now let's add this uh, final font so let's copy this from here again click on this add button to add a text and search for text 
select this one paste in anything you want go to design text let's make it center align and everything is fine we don't have to change the size or anything just make it center align click on ok and let's change the color of this name because here if you see we are going to add a white background and if the color of this font is white we cannot see that so let's select that go to design text let's make it darker the text color should be darker click on ok fine now what you have to do you have to do this we have to do the same thing which we did over here so let's select this this section row set, row setting background column one background color and let's select some white color from here okay so column one white color is looking much better and also let's do some more settings let's go to design spacing okay here we have column one padding column two padding so under column one padding just type in anything like you know maybe 10 pixels not 10 maybe okay let's think let's make it 50 pixels okay let's make it 50 pixels from all side okay so once you do so it would look something like this which is not looking better so i think uh, it should be 30 pixels would be fine let's make it 30 pixels so 30 pixels padding from all side for column one yeah this is looking much better yeah so make it 30 pixels and do it same for all these column two padding also and column three padding also okay Padding is nothing but some gap. No, if you if you remember we, before adding padding, everything was sticking to the corner, but we wanted some gap. Like we wanted some gap uh, at the top of this image. Uh, we have some gap at the left hand side, right hand side, and bottom. So this is looking mass. This is really looking nice. Now go to content, background color, and let's add background color to uh, uh, to column two and three also. Select column two, make it white select column 3 and make this thing also white click on ok now we just have to copy and paste everything just copy this image drag it over here copy this name drag it over here this designation and this final text okay now if you want to make any change you can just you know edit it from here you can, if you want to make if you want to change the image the text anything you can just edit it so it is really easy you just have to create it once and after that it is all copy paste thing so this is really amazing and i hope you guys are really enjoying it and the design also is really cool because i i think this is the best design that you can create for any business website i have not by far this is the best design which i have created and I really like this one. Let's add some space at top and bottom. So just hover here. You'll see this blue section. Let's add some space from bottom as well. Fine. So this is looking awesome. Let's save all the settings so that you don't miss our settings or we don't miss whatever we have saved. Fine. So everything is looking awesome till now. Let's refresh this page and see how our website is looking. Let's scroll down. Okay, so this is really, really looking amazing. Now let's see the next section. This is the next section. Now what we have to do instead of doing everything again, because this section is very much similar to this one. Okay, very much similar to this one. If you see, we have the same thing over here, the same title, subtitle. We just have this button. Rest everything is same. So what we'll do, we'll copy this entire section. So we'll hover over this and we'll copy this blue, duplicate this section. Now if you see we have this section and below that we have another section. Now what you have to do, we have to drag this section at the bottom. So let's drag this thing at the bottom. Okay, we want it over here. Let's put it over here. Okay, so we have this thing over here. Now we just have to change the image so just hover this image select this gear icon upload image 
upload file select files and let's see this is the image which we want click on open click on upload an image okay okay so as you can see this is really looking awesome now so this is how we do it it is really easy you don't have to do similar things again and again now here if you notice we don't have this name instead of this name we have this button so that is also very easy you don't have to worry about that let's delete this name just delete it and go at the top because we have already created a button you can just copy this button or you can just right click on this this is also a good feature you can just right click on this button you'll get some options like copy module so just click on copy module and go at the bottom and however this you'll see this add button right click on this and paste module okay so we have our button over here so this is really really easy you know creating a website like this is really amazing really easy and the design is also so beautiful so click on save now let's see the next section so we have this testimonial section now you can do one thing you can just you know if you like this uh, design better than this testimonial design you can just copy this uh, complete thing and just paste it over here it's all up to you okay so let me do that let i i I'll, i won't do that i'll create this section differently testimonial section so let's do that first click on this plus button to add a new section and uh, let's see first we have a title and everything so we'll select regular and single column because we have this single thing over here this divider and this text and add from library divider fine so this is our divider let's make some changes on that go to design uh, let's change the color to white obviously we cannot after we change the color we cannot see that because the background color is also white but we have to change the background color and make it something like this so just change the background uh, the color to white and go to sizing and make it center align click on ok you cannot see it now but don't worry now select this section this blue section click on this gear icon section setting background and add this color but we don't this time we have to select the second one okay so for we have seen how to use the first one we have seen how to use the six third one now it's time to use the second section okay so select the second one click on add new and once you click on this add new you already have something like this you want to change you can change this thing like instead of a gradient type linear you can select radical okay you can see changes have taken place it's all up to you whatever you like you can make it like that okay click on ok now we can also see that divider and this is really looking awesome now let's add this title testimonials so how are this and let's copy this because you know once you do that we cannot click on that uh, black icon so i always always copy this so now we can see this black add button add just select on that click on that black add button <laughs> okay if only if i could do that click on this and search for text or instead if you can also do one thing over here or if you want to save your time you can also do one thing you know like uh, we have used this thing many times so you can just copy this from here okay like this one just copy uh, right click over here copy module because you know we always you have to change the font the color and everything so you can copy it and save some time and come over here right click over here and paste module okay and let's delete the bottom divider now only what you have to do you have to change the text so instead of our coaches let's make it testimonials fine so it, this is also a good trick to save some time now let's add this testimonial section so click on this green plus button add three different columns and search for testimonial okay so there is a special module for this first one is author name as you can see over here the name of the this is the name this is the designation this is what they have to say so let's copy this one 
and this is the image and so on so author name let's put some name over here job title okay you can put in anything like what would like manager or something company name blog dude i will put in my company name over here and content what they have to say so i just paste in the content everything is white that's why we cannot see that okay let's add the image so select this image upload let's select this one click on upload an image fine everything is fine go to design okay quote icon if you want this icon you can select this then we have text now select the text and make it dark now we can see everything much better text orientation make it center aligned so that you can see it properly okay now everything is looking much better you can uh, increase the size of this icon if you want increase this text uh, size and so on like body text you have more option over here you can increase the size of the text i don't want to do that because this is really looking good i just want to increase the size of the image okay so let's search where there is that is portrait this is the one i guess yes this is the one so what i'll do just make portrait width and height same for example if you want to make it 150 pixels then put both height and weight as one uh, height and width as 150 pixels okay so this is really looking good click on ok now just copy this section drag it over here copy it again and drag it over here so within one or two minutes we have created the testimonial section this is really amazing now let's add some gap at top and bottom so select this and let's add some gap also at the bottom fine so this is also looking awesome now let's see the next section this is the most recent section these are post so to create this section first we'll have to create some post and after that we'll create these two sections which are footer section and we'll use these two sections throughout the website okay so let's first create some post and after only only after that we can create this section so let's do that so first go to your dashboard so let's come over here here is the link to your dashboard however this you will see this dashboard link open this in a new tab and at the left hand side you will see this post option however post and click on add new first let me open a new tab and type in lipsim.com you know just to grab some lorem ipsum text some dummy text and let's select this generate lorem ipsum okay so we have some text let's copy this from here fine so let's add some title okay first let me paste in what i have copied over here in the body text and from here i can just grab this thing and make it title okay just put it under title okay so basically you should know how to do this this is really easy stuff there is no rocket science nothing you just have your title over here your stuff over here you can add some media like you can add some images or videos in, in between if you want then you can create a category from here for example this thing uh, belongs to wordpress so i'll add wordpress category click on add new category you can add some text like themes like plugins or something it's all up to you whatever this post is about you can add some uh you know custom excerpt if you want excerpt is nothing but this thing you see this uh small portion of, of this post so you can add some some custom excerpt if you want okay now featured image featured image is nothing but this image which you see over here so let's add this featured image click on featured image let's select this one click on set featured image okay rest everything is fine you just have to add some title body category tags featured image and click on publish fine now let's add two more like this so that we you know we can have at least three so that we could see something like this so let's click on add new again i'll open this in a new tab so that i can copy everything from here 
okay first uh, let me copy this body uh, section everything from this body section and let's paste over here under this body section and now we'll select this thing as our title select this and select the now we'll see one category already added because we just added this category wordpress now let us give a featured image let's select different featured image this time this one select this featured image click on publish so we have two posts now now let us add one more so that we can have at least three click on add new now this time we will select this as or maybe, maybe this one as our title so let's select this portion paste in under title now let's select everything from this body and paste it over here wordpress category featured image and and let us upload our image for this let us upload uh, maybe this one let's select this one click on ok fine click on set featured image click on publish now come back to this page okay this is the page here it is now let us add that section click on add new section select regular single column first we'll add from library the divider and let's select okay it's uh, the normal color so we don't have to do any changes over there we just have to make it center align so select this gear icon go to design spacing uh, not spacing i guess sizing and module alignment center fine click on ok and uh, let's copy this because what happens is so uh, we are not able to cl uh, click on this plus button so that's why i'm copying it again and again now what i'll do i'll again copy this title so that you don't have to do it again just right click on this copy module come over here and right click on this and paste module fine i'll delete this one the bottom divider and let's change the color for this one so click on settings design text text color dark and let's change this instead of testimonials we can have something like uh, post something or maybe our blog fine click on ok now it's time to add this thing so click on this add button again okay only if, if i could do that let me add something like this fine now i can do that now we have this add button click on this add button now search for blog okay this is the one select this number of posts to show okay so now as you can see the posts are showing but we have to change this style we don't want anything like this we want only three posts to show and date format and everything will be same first let's go to design change the layout instead of full width select grid okay so this is the grid layout fine now here there are some uh, extra information which we don't need for example if you see over here it is just the title date category and uh, body text so you want only that we don't want this author and uh, so so go to content go to elements we want to show the featured image which is this one we don't want to show the read more if you want to show the read more you can just make this yes okay and the changes are taking place now as you can see we have this read more button over here i don't want to show the author so i'll deselect this one okay now everything is fine okay fine so everything is looking fine let's go to design overlay yeah everything is fine just click on ok click on save so we are also done with the block section now let's see the last two sections over here so this is a very beautiful section i really like this one so let's add this section click on this add new section button regular single column and select 
newsletter i guess no no newsletter then maybe let's search let's see what is the keyword for that uh, it is email opt-in so select email opt-in okay so you'll see something like this okay first let us change the design after that we'll see all these things go to design and uh, background color it is under content maybe yeah under content we have background color let's change the background color first let's make it to ff5 or oh no ff3 f56 fine and copy this color just make it okay and let's change this color as well so select this section color background color and just paste in this color over here fine this is looking awesome now let's make some changes over here so select this module setting now what do you want to add some text over here for example here we have get best fitness tips and tricks just copy this and just paste it over here okay we have get best fitness tips and tricks go to design and body text because this is under body text font we want the same font which you are using select this one let's increase the size okay not this one i'm sorry the font size let's see where that is and uh, it is under title text let's change the font okay and let's select this one and let's change the size of this and maybe this is 70 pixels okay 70 pixels is looking fine so i have selected 70 pixels for this one and the rest everything is looking fine go to content again now here we have to do some settings like when you go to email account we have to select mailchimp but here we don't see anything over here okay so now we have to do some changes first click on ok we have to create a mailchimp account so let's get rid of all these things now now go to mailchimp.com and here just click on sign up free but i won't do that because i have already created account so i'll click on login it is really easy to create an account it will take around one two minutes just create a new account i have already done so i'm logging in okay so let i think it was this one so click on login if you already have an account obviously fine now here what you have to do you have to create a new list so go to list i already have few list over here so now go to create list now i'll just create a new list so that i could sh show you guys how you do it and list name for example let's name it nayar list name nayar from email address put in your email address over here real nayar i'm putting my email default from name i'll put in my name nayar shake i'm sorry fine some short reminder about how the recipient joined when the recipient joined your list okay so just put in anything you want okay you have an example like you're receiving this email because you opted in at our website so you can add some message like this so let's okay fine you cannot copy that okay and just put in your uh, you know address your phone number and all this information and just don't click on all these things these are notification you can click on this subscriber notification so that you know whenever someone subscribe to your website you'll get a notification and okay let's let's actually click over here okay let's select everything so subscriber notification unsubscribe notification and daily summary click on save okay guys so we have created a new list which is awesome now what we have to do is let's see let's see what all we think what all are the thing that we need let's come over here click on this gear icon and go to email account click on add okay so we want a account name and an api key okay so let's see where is our api key now when you see this account over here click on this you will see account section not account i think it is under profile so click on profile 
under profile you have this extra option click on extra and you have this api keys click on api keys and here is your api just copy this from here copy everything from here come back paste it just click on submit okay now just uh, again click on add you can i think we have to name it something like let's name it nayer click on submit okay now we have this select list now you can see all the list are present over here this is the one which i just created nayer okay if you don't see any list over here you can just click on this button fetch list it will fetch all the list so i already see so i won't do that I'm seeing my name over here. This is the list which I just created in a year. Select this one and click on OK. Now click on save. Now the first thing which I want to check is that whether this thing is working or not. So let's refresh the page and let's see a demo whether that is working or not. If it is working good, if not, then we can see what we can do about that. First name is Nayer Sheikh. Email address, uh, let me put this one. fine click on subscribe now we are getting this subscribe message we also have to change that i'll tell you why we have to change that go to list now you see over oh, here under nayer there are still zero subscribers whereas i just subscribed if you see uh, i just subscribed in front of you guys I also got this success message, but I am not showing over here because there is a problem. First, let me open my mail. Okay. And see whether the thing has happened or not. Okay. So here I get a new mail. Please confirm subscription. Okay. So I can just click on yes. Subscribe me to the list. Okay, I am not a robo. Just select this, click on subscribe to the list. Fine. So we are subscribed now. Again, come back over here. Let's refresh. Okay, now we can see one subscriber. And if you open this uh, list, you'll say see their first name, last name, whatever, their email address and so on. So this is working fine. You don't have any problem. The only problem is with this message. It says success, but you don't want this message because when it says success, the user will think, okay, fine, I'm subscribed, but they are not subscribed. They have to first confirm uh, to this email address. So we'll change the message. Go over here, click on this gear icon and let's see success action. Select this one. Let's select this message okay let's see whether what all we have okay we just want to add change the message and you can type in anything like uh, just let's type uh, please uh, confirm or maybe please check in uh, your inbox your mailbox mail inbox i don't know just 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 type whatever you feel please check in your mail inbox and confirm and click on confirm you can just type in that i am really lazy to type that just click on ok so you can see this is working we just have to change the message i just showed you how you do that okay fine now let's add the last section this is the section first let me just select this thing and click on this add plus button regular single and let's search for text because this is text okay let's paste in or just type in if you want and let's see here what do you have we want light color because the background is going to be black so first let's do all these changes like text size and so on let's increase the size to maybe 30 pixels is looking fine okay i want to add this section on new line so what i'll do i'll just click on over here and press enter to add them on the new line and i'll make the alignment as center 
like this fine and uh, and rest everything is fine it's, we have to change the color for the number this is the number if you obviously you have to change your number and everything from your i think we forgot this okay fine now let's select this thing and select this color from here and put in any color code you want for example i'm putting in the color code ff3 f56 okay now as you can see the color has changed and rest of the color i want as white because here if you see the color of this text is white and the background color is black so i want to add that thing so what i'll do i'll select this thing from here everything now select the color select white fine now let's add let's change the color of this uh, background color okay the changes have not taken place i don't know why let's again try just select this portion select color white fine so this has taken place now let's change the color of the section select this gear icon background color select color select black but we don't want this black let's make it a little bit lighter okay this is looking much better this is 262626 if you want the same color this is 262626 okay click on okay now let's add this code over here copyright 2017 all right reserved by blah 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 now let's add this code from here copy this from here again click on this add button search for text and just paste in this over here go to design text change the color to light and make it center align and obviously you uh, you have to change my name to your company name or if you are creating a personal website to your personal website name okay click on okay and now let's add this thing this social icons so again come back over here click on okay fine first i think we have to copy this uh copyright just because we uh, we can click on this button click on this button now and search for social media follow this is the one and let's start adding icons so first click on this add button social network select anything like google plus you have this google plus over here okay now what you have to do let's see link background design let's select design border we want to make it circle like this let where well, it is gone like this one everything is circle over here so we'll put in 50 pixels and this has become circle and this is looking good okay okay so everything is fine just add a link make sure you add the link okay your google plus link over here click on okay and similarly just copy this thing uh, uh, three four times for how many whatever number of uh, social media you want now select the second one and select the network instead of google select twitter click on ok select the third one instead of google select uh, instagram instead of fourth one let's select uh, facebook fine now go to design okay first click on ok go to design alignment and make it center align okay now click on ok so this is looking awesome just delete this thing okay guys click on ok save fine so we have completed this section this is really looking awesome let's refresh and see this page okay now we have this section so everything is looking awesome as you can see this is really looking amazing now there is one more thing left for example if you see go to the top and here you have different uh, icons for example desktop tablet mobile now let's click on tablet this middle icon now this is how your website looks on tablet if you want to make some changes you can do so from here okay so this is how it will look you can see everything from top to bottom for example now here you you see the logo is not 100 percent circle so you can change that from here just click on this uh, gear icon go to design and uh, border i guess yes border and instead of 100 you can make it 200 
okay now this is okay okay so what happens is you know some changes are this changes will take only for tablet so you can control how your website looks on different devices so this is also very very good okay rest everything is looking fine and you can see some other options over here so this is how your website looks like on a tablet you can change something if you want okay it's all up to you let's come back to this desktop mode so we have completed the home page now few things are left for example this footer section and we have to make this uh, this nav bar transparent like we have in the demo website and the most important thing we have to make this home page as our op official home page for example now someone goes uh, to the main page they'll see something like this we don't want this we want to make this as our home page so let's get rid of this now and let's do all those changes okay we didn't save any settings just click on save okay let's get rid of this and now go to your dashboard first first let's change these settings uh, this uh, bottom footer so how about this DV and click on theme options and here you will see this uh, Facebook profile URL, Twitter profile URL, Google plus profile URL so this is uh, this this is the URL for all these things okay so make sure you change all this URL for example instead of Facebook uh, instead of this hash you can put in your URL for example my is facebook.com slash blog dude okay so you can do this okay for all these things okay click on save changes so this will change the link for all these things now again come back to your website uh, click on or maybe you can do it from here also you can just click on this theme customizer it will do the work for you okay fine so first uh, go to this footer section here you have footer let's scroll down so that we can see the changes now we have footer menu foot bottom footer so we have to click on this bottom footer and here you have to put in the credit or whatever you want for example here instead of this I'll put in website made by Nayar Sheikh and this is HTML thing so if you want to uh, add link to Nayar Sheikh for example now if I see this is just some simple text but if you want Nayar when someone clicks on this Nayar text they should be redirected to some page you can also do so you can add this thing uh, if you know something about HTML then you can easily do this you can add HRF from here okay you have to add the link from here I'll try to just add the link over here I'll try to give this format uh, in the video description below so that you can copy it if you don't know it is really easy you can just type in on, on in Google HTML href and you'll get this option HTML href attribute w3 schools click on this and here is the format you can just copy this from here and uh, come over here now after buy just paste it now here in, in instead of this w3 school you can paste in your URL for example I want to link to my YouTube page so I'll just copy this link and instead of visit w3 schools I'll type in Nayar Sheikh okay so it is really easy it is not uh, something that is tough or something it is really easy click on publish okay now let's make that page which we just created as our home page so go back again back and home page settings okay so here is the your home page display select the second one a static page and under home page select home page which we just created okay now we can see that this page has become our home page and this is really looking amazing now click on publish and let's also change the fav icon from here if you see in this website you have this beautiful D logo over here this is the fav icon in W3 schools this is the uh, fav icon so let's add our fav icon because it is blank at present so let's come over here go to general settings site identity and set site icon just select icon upload an image I already have an image for me this is the one 
select this click on select crop image now we can see that fab icon over there so that is also looking awesome and we can also change the site title and tagline from here now go to back again click on back and just click on publish and let's get rid of this now okay now it's time to create our menus okay so here as you can see we have a menu and in the menu as i said you earlier i'll show you how to create both a single page and a multi-page website in, in a single page when you click on testimonials you are redirected to the testimonial section and here you have different pages so let's first cre uh, create a menu and let's see how that is done so under your dashboard you'll see this appearances how our appearances and click on menus now you can name it anything for example i can name it a uh, primary menu or main menu whatever you want just click on create menu fine now let's add some custom links the first one will be your home page so just grab the main url of your website under url paste that and link text just type in home add to menu now again type in your home page okay put in slash then this hashtag and you can put in for example let me show you for example if for this section you, you can call this section anything for example we can call it ours our courses section or courses section simply then what you have to do you have to put in this hashtag and just type in o u r hyphen so you uh, c o u r s e s our courses okay and in the link text you have to type in okay not this you have to type in our courses fine click on add to menu now let me show you how this works so what you have to do let's visit this site or let's open our home page from here now click on this edit visual builder so we have name just remember the name which we have given here it is our courses okay we have to copy this same name and don't forget to put in this hashtag over here or else it will it will won't uh, it won't work just copy this our courses from here now come over here go to this section however this blue section click on edit go to advanced css id and classes now under id just paste in this our courses and click on ok okay now similarly for this one select this section go to advanced id and you can name it anything for example about us click on ok and let's select this one go to advanced css id and let's name it our coaches our coaches fine click on ok and let's select this one and go to advanced and let's name it about us two don't put hashtag over here i'm sorry don't put put hashtag over here about us two okay fine and also always remember whatever you're putting the name over here because this is the name which we'll have to put uh, over here okay click on okay now now this is testimonials so select this section go to advanced css id and classes and let's put in testimonials you can name it anything you want obviously click on ok this is our blog so we'll name it our blog go to advanced css id our blog click on ok select this one we'll call it newsletter okay okay so when someone will come over here they'll all already always see this section so we don't have to put anything for this section or if you want you can put uh, some menu for this section as well now click on ok okay so similarly you have to create for all these things now let's copy this paste in over here now instead of our courses let's see what we have over here the second one was this about us so we'll put about us over here so just delete the R courses, put in your website URL slash hash 
and put in the name which you just put uh, in under the CSS ID. It was our course. No, it was about us. I'm sorry. I'm getting confused. And here under link text, just type in about us. Click on add to menu. Fine. And after that, we have our co our coaches. So just type in, just copy this from here, paste in. Instead of our courses, just type in our coaches. And under link text, type in the same our coaches. Click on add to menu. Okay, so similarly, you have to do everything. Let's click on this primary menu, click on save. Now, just go to the home page and let's see whether that is working or not wait wait okay i didn't save the setting i guess go to our courses okay i didn't save the setting that's why it is not um again click on visual builder i'm sorry i could didn't save the settings so this is the that's why i always say whenever you do any changes make sure you save it because this is what happens okay i don't want to do any restore or something first is our courses so let's select this again. We have to put in that select this go to advance and our courses. This is the one our courses click on. Okay. Then we have this about us select this thing. Go to advanced CSS ID and let's call it about us. Fine. The third one is our coaches. Let's select this one advanced ID our coaches not courses our coaches fine now click on this and save the settings okay so settings are saved now go to your home page now let's try click on our courses now as you can see you are redirected to this section about us our courses so this is happening and this is working now let's uh, let's make this transparent let's make the menu transparent like we have over here under this home page under the demo website which we have created so come over here hover this and click on theme customizer here we have header and navigation click on that header format if you want to change the format you can change that you have this centered format where you have this logo over here and so on we don't want to change anything over there. I just want to change the primary menu bar. Go there and we have to make this transparent. Okay, so let's see background color. Here it is. You have to make it transparent. So to make it trans transparent, you have two things over here. This is the first one. This is the second one. You just have to decrease this to the bottom. And as you can see, now it is transparent. Fine. So this is looking awesome. This is really looking cool. And you, you can change this color. For example, I don't want this blue color. I have kept my website color as you know, the red color. So I'll put in red color. So text color is okay, fine. Text color will be basically white. And the active color will be the red color, which I have chosen FF3, F56. Fine. So you, you can see this is looking awesome now. Click on publish. Now let's cut this. Okay, so we have our transparent uh, menu and this is really looking awesome. Okay, so we are done with the home page. Everything is done. We have this everything is oh, done over here. Now let's see how to create different pages like we have this services page over here. Let's leave. Okay, this services page about us page. So let's click uh, create the services page. Come back to this uh, dashboard, hover pages and click on add new. You can name it anything. I'm naming it services. Fine. And uh, okay, let's click on publish. Now use this DB builder, use visual builder. And let's create something awesome like this. Okay, the first section we have a background, beautiful background image. So let's add that. So let's select this thing, section setting, background, select the third one for background image, click on OK, upload image. 
and uh, this is the image I guess select this one click on open click on upload an image okay you can see this is looking amazing click on ok now let's add this text our services and this uh, this custom tag so let's click on plus button single column text click on this text and this is our services so just type in our services over here go to design text color should be light now we can see this our services is over here let's increase the size to maybe 60 pixels okay and the font will be the font which are which we are choosing throughout the website this one let's make it center align okay fine this is looking awesome let's click on ok now let's add this text the subtitle again however this click on okay I always face this problem click on this add new again search for text just paste in this text or just type in this text go to design text make it light color okay if you want you can increase the font size uh, this is fine let's make it 18 pixels and make it center align everything is fine click on ok let's add some space at top and bottom okay okay this is looking good fine now click on save so that you don't miss any changes okay now what we will do we'll save this section because you know when we'll when we'll be creating our about us and contact us page we'll need a very similar section so we'll save this section so that you don't have to create it again and again so doing that is very easy however this and click on this button save section to library and we can name it anything like header section just name it header go click on save to library now we can reuse this again and again okay we don't have to create it now the next section is this one okay we have this button okay we have everything over here so let's let's uh, create uh, create the, that section as well or you can do one thing you can just copy this thing from here because this is also very much similar uh, this section on which we created on our home page where is that gone this is the one this section this is very much similar to this uh, to this section so you can do that but let me show you how to create that click on add new section let's get rid of this first add new section regular two columns at the left hand side we have this image so we'll search for image and let's upload this image click on upload files select files and this is the image click on open upload an image fine click on ok now let's add this text okay so what I'll do now I'll go to this page click on enable visual builder which we just created our home page because uh, I don't want to create this uh, button again and again what I'll do is I'll save this button okay so I'll just hover this I'll get this option I'll save this button I'll just name it button over here save to library I'll also save these things so that I don't have to create it again now uh, this uh, title and subtitle so I'll just add this thing put in title save to library add this thing and I'll name it subtitle save to library fine and click on save and now here I'll also click on save and refresh this page so that I could I can use those uh, modules which I just saved these are all just to save your time because you don't want to create the same thing again and again and waste your time okay now here the first thing which we need is this title so what I'll do I'll click on this button go to add from library click on title now I can change the title to anything okay 
but we have this title so we don't have to create it again again i'll go to uh, add from library subtitle so we have our title over here now i'll go to add now i'll just put some simple text like we have over here okay and just paste it over here okay and then we have to add the button so i'll click on add add from library and button okay so we don't have to do it again and again click on save <clears throat> so we have our section we have to create two more section like this similar section so let's do that now let's again copy this whole section just copy this complete section and let's make this image over here at the right hand side and let's drag all this text on the left hand side okay fine now you can change the image if you want now again copy this section okay we have one more and drag this thing at the bottom okay over here and just change the image so this is looking amazing i know we just have to spend around four or five minutes and we have a complete beautiful page ready over here and i also forgot to add these two sections because we as i said you earlier we'll be using these two sections on all our pages because we want users to get this option newsletter option on all uh, their pages and also this uh, address option address and phone number so what i'll do is i'll add this option over here save to library and i'll name it footer one you can name it anything obviously and i'll just select this one save to library footer two okay now i'll have to refresh this again don't reload first save all these settings after that you can reload okay now scroll down and click on this add new section add from library and select footer 1 okay we have this footer one add new section add from library footer two okay so guys so this is magic <laughs> you know you don't create anything you just create it once and you can use it easily anywhere you want okay so we are done with the our code our services page now let's create a new page so just click on this hover this new new and click on page and let's cre create this about us page now let's see how that page looks like okay so this is the about us page let's create this page now okay we also have this testimonial so we'll have to save this testimonial from the home page so that we can use it again this is the testimonial section let's save this let's call it testimonials save to library fine now this is let's give it a title about us click on publish use the db builder use visual builder fine now the first section is as you know uh, is the header section so we don't have to do anything we'll just click on this add new section click on add from library and select header okay and delete this empty section from here and we just have to change the title for example instead of our services we can just make it about us okay so this is how easy it is now let's see some more options what all we have over here so after that we have this section okay we have the divider we have the title and two different sections over here so let's add this one click on add new section okay let's get rid of this first add new section regular okay first single column and first add from library divider because we have the divider at the top and let's make it center align 
so go to sizing alignment center okay after that we have this title so again what i'll do is i'll just add some space at the bottom click on add new add from library title okay we have the title let's make it center align so as you can see now we just have to create it once after that it is all copy and paste okay because that really saves a lot of time you know if we didn't create anything it is all copy and paste and we are saving a lot of time now let's copy this thing let's add two different sections over here click on this two different columns search for text select this paste in this text click on ok now we can use the same text over here obviously you don't want to use the same text over here you will change this is basically your about us section so you will have something about your company over here now let's add these two images and let me show you how you can create this beautiful section click on this add new section from here select regular select two columns and we have image on both the sides so select image upload image media url this is the first one okay and here also we have an image so we'll click on add we'll select for image and here we have let's see upload an image we don't have that yet this is the one click on open click on upload an image okay so this is how it looks but here if you see in the demo website this looks really beautiful so let's make it like this so it is very easy you just have to click on this gear icon row settings go to design and sizing and make this thing full width make this row full width but still we need some changes so after that you have to use this use custom gutter width and make this thing zero okay zero or one both will do so i am putting it one okay use custom gutter width one click on ok now this is uh, this looks exactly like this one now let's add this counter so click on add new section and here we have four different columns so regular four now search for counter okay we have different counters number counter circle counter i think this is number counter so select number counter or maybe circle counter i don't know uh, i think it was circle counter so let's get rid of this let's delete this click on add new search for counter and select circle counter yeah this was the one now select uh, number here for example 10 231 3 721 you can select any number for example let's select 10 over here now you'll see this 10 but i want to remove this percentage sign so i'll just go to elements and make this percent sign off and let's change the color for example i want my favorite color over here so which is ff3 f56 okay not this one i'm sorry <laughs> we don't want to add any background color just remove this okay go to design circle and bar color we have to change this from here bar color and put that color over here ff3 f56 okay i didn't freak okay fine this looks good and uh, text uh, if you want to increase the size of the text you can increase the size of the text go to circle now and select text okay title text uh, and we have more option like sizing spacing border okay i want to change the complete to red that's why i'm seeing the options let me see we'll have it over here only i guess okay circle color we have to change the circle color as well so we have to put in the same color ff3 f56 okay and here we have to if you see the opacity is 0.1 we have to make it one complete one okay so this looks nice now and uh, and i have to increase the number size the 10 size let's increase this 
75 pixels is fine click on ok now if you see over here this is quite small but this is very big so let's make it small so select this row settings go to design and uh, go to spacing and you have this custom padding column 1 padding column 2 padding now here add 50 pixels okay everywhere 50 pixels top bottom left right on all the columns okay top bottom left right on all the four columns 50 pixels padding okay so this looks nice now now you can just copy this thing from here just drag it over here copy it drag it copy it drag it and you can change the number obviously according to you and if you want to add some text below it for example like we have over here you can do it easily just click on add search for text select text and i can put uh, lectures okay so i have 10 different lectures so this the, uh, that is how you do it you can increase the size of the text like we have seen earlier you can make it center align obviously so you can do all these things now let's click on save okay let's remove this gap there is a lot of gap at the top okay so let's remove this gap okay fine this is looking nice now fine we don't want a lot of gap over here so we are done with this counter now let's add this testimonial section okay so click on add add from library and testimonials okay so we don't have to create it again again add add from library footer one again add same thing footer two okay so this is amazing you know it saved a lot of time we didn't have to create everything again and again most of this thing over here were just copy paste like this header section and this top uh, bottom three section we just had to create these two three simple sections so this is really amazing okay so we are done with the about us page now let's create the last page which is the services page no the contact us page let's type in the title as contact us click on publish okay now click on use the DB builder use visual builder now let's see how the contact us page looks like okay the same section okay everything is fine we just have to add this thing or create this thing rest everything is just fine okay so let's come over here click on add new add from library let's add the header okay let's get rid of this empty section and just let's change the title to okay contact us fine and let's add this section now this uh, contact us uh, form and this map so click on this add new regular two different columns now here first is form so just type in contact form select this one and you have everything ready over here and if you want to make some changes you can do it easily it's all up to you just make sure that you have few things correct like uh, okay there okay that is all automatically done i guess that is the uh, email address so i think that is automatically done okay so fine everything is fine just click on okay we have this contact form over here now we have to add the map well, before that uh, we have to add the api key if you don't add uh, the map won't work let me show you click on add new module search for map here is the map select this one click, uh, uh, click on this plus button to add a new address for example let me uh, here is the map so let's select this map pin and let's type in mumbai let's find now as you can see nothing happens over here because we don't have the api key so click on ok ok and just click on save settings from here and go open a new tab and type in console.developers.google.com okay 
now here you have to create a new account if you don't know uh, about this thing uh, uh, there is a video which i have created on this thing how to enable uh, google map on your website on your wordpress website you can see that uh, that is in more detail if you face any problem but for now you just have to go to credentials you have to verify your domain so go to domain verification okay add in your domain db2 click on add new domain click on add domain now click on verify or it will ask you to verify ownership click on get me there add a property again add the domain over here click on continue now we have to download this html file and upload on your website okay so i'll do it uh, through filezilla okay so i'll just cl click on filezilla desktop app here i'll have to blur something because these are all you know sensitive information and you have to find for your website this is the website db2 and let us see and we have to upload the file which we just downloaded we have to upload this file on our website so i'm looking for that file actually okay let me do one thing let me take this file on the desktop so that it will be easy copy it paste it on the desktop select desktop from here where is that here is the desktop here is the file that google file you just have to drag it over here okay transfer finished okay click on verify okay so do this domain is verified now cut this thing again paste in the domain name okay this is the domain name paste it over here click on add domain okay now we see your domain over here now go to credentials select the api key okay anyone select this one go over here now again click on this module setting go to map okay now go to click on this change api key okay now from here you'll see google map api paste in that api key over here and click on save changes after this make sure you save everything over here and refresh this page okay now we have our map now we just have to add the location so click on uh, this edit button this gear icon select this map select this put in mumbai click on find now we can see the map is showing over here click on ok and again over here as, as well just type in mumbai or just type in your address obviously you won't type mumbai you will type in your address over here it will show the map if you are satisfied with this map you can just drag it here and there you can zoom in zoom out according to your need okay whatever size you want and click on ok now click on save now you can see the map over here okay now let us add those footer options footer section 1 and footer section 2 okay footer 1 footer 2 okay so everything is fine just click on save now let's add these three pages which we just created on the menu and after that we'll be done so go, go back to your dashboard hover appearances click on menus let's get rid of all these things okay stay make sure you save all the uh, changes over here okay fine so here at the top you'll see menus uh, your pages so we want contact us about us and services page click on add new okay so we have all our pages over here click on save menu go to your website okay so we have contact us about us services page and these are the pages which are just you know the one page website okay 
So it's all up to you whatever kind of website you want. If you want single page website, you don't have to create these pages because you have all these uh, services, this testimonial, contact us. This is the con you can just click. Uh, this will be the contact us section. So if you want to create a single page website, you can do so. If you want to create multiple website, it's all up to you. Okay, guys, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was helpful, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also give a thumbs up to this video and click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.